Hey, it's Joe Barnes from the Screw The System channel and I'm back with another reaction video. This time I'm reacting to Serena Williams' Meltdown. Now this actually happened quite a long time ago, almost a year ago at the US Open um, last year. The reason I'm making the video now is it's just been the Wimbledon final 2019. Uh, Serena Williams lost. There was also something recently in, I think it's Harper's Bazaar magazine where she's written an article about her um, outburst, about the whole controversy last year in the final, given her thoughts on it. So I thought I'd give you my thoughts on it. Basically what happened at the 2018 US Open final is Serena Williams was playing uh, Naomi Osaka and she got penalized for um, coaching. So on court, it's not on court coaching, but her coach was giving her signals and gestures indicating to her what she needed to do. Now, I'm a tennis coach myself. I follow tennis a lot. This is quite commonplace in tennis. Coaches will try, although they're not supposed to, and it is against the rules, they will try to get away with giving their players um, sort of suggestions or tips on what they should be doing via hand signals or some kind of gesture. She got busted for it in court um, and the referee gave her a code violation, a warning. Now her reply was, you know, look, I didn't know it was happening. This isn't fair. I don't cheat. She had, so she, she did have an outburst as a result of it. She may have been right. She may have not known that her coach was doing it, but her coach was doing it. And he later admitted that yes, he was doing it. So the judge was, the umpire was completely correct in penalizing Serena. Um, what Serena did then was declared that it was, you know, um, sexism, that she wouldn't do this, the judge wouldn't do this to a man. She smashed her racket. She called the, judge, the umpire a thief. She did a, a whole load of other things, which by the rules of tennis gives you um, code violations, then you lose a point, then you lose a game. At this point, she was losing quite heavily to Osaka, I think, or she'd lost the first set and they were into the second set and she was down. The match was still um, still open to, to, you know, there's still possibility Serena could come back because obviously she's a fantastic player and has the capability of doing that. However, with this meltdown, with the uh, uh, penalty points, she just lost it and ended up losing the match. Then um, in the ceremony, I don't know, she was crying or she was... Naomi Osaka was crying because of what had happened. It sort of, it put a dampener on the whole thing. Anyway, Serena came out of this whole thing saying that she was the victim of sexism, that there were double standards in tennis and the penalties that were applied to her aren't applied to men. Now, this is complete rubbish. You just have to take a look at some of the ways that Nick, Nick Kyrgios is penalized to see that, that these rules are enforced throughout. Yes, the coaching rule isn't always enforced and it's rare, but it's there and it is a rule. And when it got applied to Serena, she was in the wrong. She had no leg to stand on. And if the referee does choose to enforce, the, if the umpire does choose to enforce the rule, then you haven't got an argument. But she went off on this big sort of sexism rant. Now at the time, her reaction was sort of, it was sort of split. Fortunately, there were some people just pointing out, saying, look, look you're, you're playing wrong. She's playing wrong in thinking this. She hasn't got a leg to stand on. But there were still quite a lot of people, amazingly, defending her, saying that perhaps this was an example of sexism. And the reason why I thought I'd make this video is because I think it's, it's almost gone too far now. If you had to put me on a spectrum of whether I'd say I was conservative or liberal, I'd say I'm more towards the liberal end of things. But something which I think is quite a disturbing trend I've noticed in our um, societies now, which is um, I think having an adverse effect, is that there's a lot of pandering towards um, around issues of sexism. Now, sexism is real. I'm not saying that it's not, and um, it needs to be stamped out in any form it can, it can be. But when you can't speak out against somebody because they are declaring that something is sexism, sexism when you can't criticize Serena for doing what she did because she all of a sudden, sudden says it's sexist, then I think we're on, on very dangerous ground. I think Serena on the tennis court, I don't really know about off it, is a bully, basically. Not only did she have this outburst, she had one 
many years ago in the US Open against Kim Clijsters, where I think she was disqualified for threatening to to kill a female line judge. And she's done various other things which sort of indicate that she's actually a bit of a bully on the tennis court. Um, a bully slash victim, which is quite interesting. As soon as she doesn't get her way, she then goes into victim mode. And this can be seen afterwards in this recent article she's written for Harper's Bazaar about how the US Open, how the umpires, how the officials ruined Naomi Osaka's uh, moment, you know, the moment when she'd won her first Grand Slam. Well, that's complete nonsense. Serena Williams ruined her moment through her bullying tactics and not getting her way. By the way, she said to the umpire at last year's US Open, you're never going to referee one of my matches again. You know, that's, these are the words of a bully. She doesn't get to decide that. That's not her call whatsoever. So really, to me, Serena on the Serena Williams on the tennis court is a bully. Um, she's not a victim of sexism at all. And the fact that so many people jump behind her and support her because she's using those, bringing that sort of paradigm in, is really disturbing uh, and worrying trend because I tell you what it's doing, it's giving r rise to this new movement of the alt-right. And I don't really agree with them on anything, but one thing I do agree with them on is the fact that political correctness has gone just way too far. We, we, are, we are so sort of so anxious not to appear sexist or not to appear racist. Now, obviously, none of these are good things, being sexist or racist, but it's so it's getting ridiculous to the point where someone like Serena, who's clearly in the wrong over something, can, can say it's sexism, and then some loads of people would jump on, jump on the bandwagon and support her. So I'm just saying, as somebody who would consider themselves liberal, that they've got to slow down on this because the worrying thing is it's giving rise to this alt-right um, alt -right movement and giving credibility to them, which is something you, you really um, don't want to do. So that's my thoughts on her outburst and um, the direction that we're going with um, sexism and sometimes with racism as well. Another interesting thing actually with Serena is that what you'll notice a lot of times on the um, on the internet and comment sections on YouTube videos and other things is some people will refer to her as the greatest of all time and they never make the distinction that she's the greatest female player of all time and I think a lot of them are and now it's a sort of common narrative that she is the greatest tennis player of all time, man and woman. And this just clearly isn't the case. If she was to play the greatest tennis player of all time, male tennis player of all time, which at the moment looks like it's Roger Federer, she would probably struggle to get a game. I think many years ago, her and her sister did challenge a man in ranked sort of 500 or 600 in the world, and she barely got a few games, I think. So if you want to call her the greatest female tennis player of all time, which I think is still a little bit debat debatable, seeing as Steffi Graf pretty much achieved what she did in about half the period of time, retired about at the age of 29, Serena's still going at 37. So maybe she is the greatest female player of all time. That's up for debate. She's definitely not the greatest player of all time, tennis player of all time. And for people to, to say that now, because we live in this these times where, you know, um, we we seem to put um, we we seem to eradicate gender from from the issue, you know, and the fact that we can't accept that yes, men are physically much more capable than women on average in general, um, and we can't seem to accept that. So we tag you know give Serena ridiculous tags like the greatest player of all time. So that was just sort of a final point I wanted to make. Anyway, I've covered pretty much all I want to say about this issue. Um, certainly was a bit thought-provoking for me when I read that Harper's Bazaar article. Reminded me of her outburst last year. If you guys have any thoughts, leave them in the comments section below. Thanks for watching.